is it the 27th, the last fellowship before our chatter dinner. So also a very special evening for us. And we thank you, uh, PDG Katangole, for joining us. So start. Um, we'll start with the road trip protocols um, and have the road trip grace in the hands of, uh, let me confirm on my list, uh, the road trip grace in the hands of Lamek and the four way test in the hands of Eric. So, Lamek, go ahead. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, so we'll recite the Rotary Grace, O oh, Lord and give of all good. Uh, we thank thee for our daily food. Uh, may Rotary friends and Rotary ways help us to serve thee all our days. Amen. Thank you and back to you. Uh, thank you, Lamek. Greetings to your club members. Uh, Derek, for we test. For the four way test of the things we think, say or do, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendship? Will it be beneficial to all concerns? Thank you. Thank you very much, Derek. And thank you for reminding us if we have a good hair day, you could turn your video on. If you are joining us from home, uh, from the office, like some of us who uh, work 24 hours, uh, yeah, please turn your video on. Let's see who is with us tonight. I could probably use two, three minutes to see to have a few people say hello. I'll probably pick on those whose videos are off. So let's let's give one minute and see who is courageous to put their video on. If your video is off, you shall be called upon to introduce yourself. Uh, thank you, Gaia. Thank you, Mutia. Thank you, Derek. Um, let's let's wait for people to show us where they are working from. Um, if you are not in a position to speak, you could introduce yourself on chat. Um, if you are in traffic, if you are listening from the office and your boss is next to you and you don't want to declare in a rotary meeting, you just you, you could put put it on chat. Uh, thank you, Vicky. Uh, William, waiting for you. I think Pimwangi must be Priska. Halima, thank you for joining us from Kigali. Jacinta, is Mutia squeezing you out of camera? Uh, ben, uh, Eric, Lamek, thank you all for joining us. So probably I could give uh, our country chair, uh, Rotarian Jimia, a chance to say hello. And then I think uh, the person I met over the weekend, Job, could also say hello. Um, Papo, if I am not wrong, that could be Papo from Uganda. Uh, Retractor Papo, you could also say hello. We'll just have a few people and then hand it over to our speaker. So CC Jimia, then John Bodeko, and then Papo. Uh, good evening everybody uh thank you so much uh, cp incoming president uh, samuel karanja congratulations uh, on your upcoming charter it's uh, such a pleasure joining you today for your meeting uh, i'm very happy to see uh, most of my friends on the call kennedy gaia yes uh, and also uh, i think uh, given the opportunity to listen to pdg emmanuel uh, i was like there's no way i could miss this meeting because uh, he's one of the inspiring speakers we have I think uh, in Africa and also uh, sharing, just to listen to him and uh, share his Rotary journey. It's something I think I can listen to over and over again. So uh, very glad to join this meeting today and uh, looking forward uh, to enjoying the fellowship with everybody. Thank you. Yes, and uh, looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. I'll be at your chatter. Thank you. Thank you, Sisi Jamia. And see you on Saturday. Uh, Job. Hi, good, uh, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Job Ondeko. Uh, yeah, good to be here. Uh, yeah. 
Thank you, Job. Uh, good to see you over the weekend. I hope you do not, uh, you have bought a new suit for Saturday. Uh, I think we should send Mutia that video, just uh, the photos from last Saturday, just to ensure you're in check for next Saturday. Uh, Papo? Hi, President. Hello. Hi, SK. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm good. Uh, Papo from Rotaract Kampala City. I am here to enjoy fellowship. Also, to congratulate you upon your charter. I was meant to be that side, but because of what's going on in your country, I can't easily travel. <laughs> <laughs> See you thank after you. elections. Thank you. Thank you, Papo. But we can confirm Kenya is very peaceful. We are very peaceful. Uh, regardless of the political noise. Really, really, so really. In, in case anything can change in the next two days, let us know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, uh, SK. Thank you, thank you, Papo. Jennings. Hi, Gaia and Kinyuya, Victoria. Hi. Hi. Okay, I think let's see one more person we've not heard from in a while. Eva Kaburu, how are you? You could also say hello. And then uh, Gaia will introduce our speaker. Hi, everyone. I'm Eva Kaburu from this club. And I'm happy to be here this evening. Uh, looking forward to hear from this uh, speaker, hear good things about. Thank you, Eva. I'm looking forward to Saturday, which is also your birthday. Um, this is just a warning, do not wash Eva on Saturday. She, she'll be uh, dressed to kill, yes, but please, it's her birthday as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Eva. And over to Gaia to take this session for us. Uh, thank you so much, SK, and uh, good evening to everyone. It's uh, good to see you guys after a while. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the last meeting. I was a little under the weather, and I'm still just getting getting back to normal. So I'm so happy to be given the privilege to introduce PDG Manuel. Uh, so PDG Manuel Katongole has been uh, a Rotarian since 1996 in the Rotary Club of Muyenga in Kampala, Uganda. He was the first district governor of Rotary District 9211, which by then comprised of Tanzania and Uganda, and uh, is, uh, is now a member of Rotary District 9214. He there, so <clears throat> he has served as an assistant uh, Rotary Regional Foundation coordinator in 2016-17 as an endowment and a major gifts advisor between 2018 to 2021 for Region 21 English speaking countries. He is a member. We lost Gaia. Muti, I kindly confirm I'm, the, I'm not the one who is lost. No, I think I think we lost him. Okay, he's back. You know, we're, we're family. He doesn't have to introduce me. We're family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My apologies, PDG. Unfortunately, Kenya Power has decided to do their thing here, but uh, I'll just quickly wrap it up. So uh, PDG Manuel is a member of Achklam Society, Bequest Society, and a benefactor to the Rotary Foundation. He's the chairman, board of trustees of Uganda, Rotary Blood Bank, and a member of the board of Makerere University Rotary Peace Center. He has been an RI personal rep uh, representative to a number of district conferences. Uh, PDG Emmanuel has wealth of experience in senior management and leadership positions and is uh, the co-founder and board chair of CIPLA uh, Quality Chemical Industries, which is a leading pharmaceutical manufacturer in Africa and serves on other boards of leading businesses in Africa. He's also the chairman of Uganda National Oil and uh, chairman of Uganda National COVID Fund Task Force. 
he is a chance is a chancellor of Nkuba University in Uganda and was appointed as a Purple Knight by Pope Francis in 2021. Uh, PDG Emmanuel holds a master's degree in economic economic policy and planning from Makerere University, Uganda. Uh, he's married to Resti Katongole and is blessed with two sons and two do daughters. We are privileged to have you this evening, PDG, and uh, we are looking forward to hearing your words of wisdom. Over to you, PDG. Wow, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you so very much. My young brother, Kennedy. I know Kennedy has been uh, on my back for quite some time trying to request me to come and have a conversation with you and it's greatest pleasure and congratulations to you President Samuel Karanja. Uh, truth be told, I did not know that uh, your Rotary Club of Jabali is, is a new club, is just been chartered. Congratulations I wish Kennedy had told me this, and I wish my very, very good friend, Jimmy, Jimmy, congratulations. I'm hearing great things, your country chair now. Uh, I've known Jimmy for quite some time, a very inspirational lady, and I'm very pleased that uh, you, she's really rising up in the leadership of Rotary in, in your great district. Uh, so, I I had known, I think I would have my, I have made, have made arrangements to come and join you at your chat night, because I think that is going to be cool. Uh, it is very heartwarming uh, to learn uh, that, that your Rotary Club is a club of relatively young people, average age 30, and mainly alumni uh, of a Rotaract uh, teams. So congratulations, friends. It's, it's a great honor and privilege for me to be there. I, I really recall the times when I was that age, uh, and I know Vijana Poa, Vijana Poa, indeed, the youth are cool, and you're cool, and it is because of you that our organization is going to grow and is going to, uh, to really uh, leave the expectations by which uh, the founders uh, intended us to be. Well, uh, while having a conversation with uh, Kennedy, uh, he asked me to speak about uh, my Rotary journey and to, to also speak about those uh, aspects uh, that an impactful Rotarian should have. I, I cannot claim myself to be uh, an impactful Rotarian, I'm a, I'm a normal human being. Uh, I'm, I, am, I, I, I eat the same ugari like you eat. I, I, I live the same life like you live. Uh, but, but the little that we do, friends, the little that we do in the world is what makes us very special to call ourselves a Rotarian. And that's why I can feel so proud to put on uh, this, this shirt all marked Rotary, uh, it's, it's, it's simply because uh, of, of what we do and how we live, the very values, core values that we live. But then uh, I hate repeating my own story, particularly when I have close friends like Jimmy uh, who, who, have, uh, who, who know my story, who have uh, watched me share my personal deal, but who have also, seen the inspiration that Rotary can do to build a human being. And if anyone ever thought that uh, it is not possible to be brought up by Rotary and have an impact uh, in life to, to the life of others, probably I could uh, proudly say I could be an example an example. But for us to be very impactful fellow Rotarians, ladies and gentlemen, one is going to live those very core values, those core values that we take so special, that we consider uh, uh, so critical to, to our lives. Are we, uh, are we able to, to have service to humanity? 
a service is the fulcrum, is the center of everything that a Rotarian does. Your group, your, your Rotary Club is, is, is general, as I said, and as I've been told, a group of relatively young people. But what is it that really moves you out at this time, past eight, probably you'll be enjoying some little bit of nyama choma or you'll be in your political campaigns in Kenya, it's hot. You'll be uh, enjoying a beer here and there or a cup of tea like my sister, Jimmy. Uh, but, but why do you leave all that and say, let's go and listen to Emmanuel. Why do you leave all that and say, we're going to spend some little bit of money uh, and, and this is a service that brings us. That is a service that really inspires us to say, yes, let's go out and make the world a better place to live in. Let's go out and touch someone's hearts. Let's imagine Rotary, that imagination of Rotary that we can do things that can change people's lives. Uh, take an example of polio. Probably polio is the biggest, biggest, uh, undertaking that we Rotarians have taken uh, uh, over the past over 30 years, about 35 years. But let me put you in perspective. Many of you were not yet born, but the whole world was suffering from polio. Whether you're from a rich country, whether you're from a poor country, polio was such a huge problem. And Rotarians said, let's go out and get polio out of the way. And what did we do? What did we do? Today, the investments that we put in polio, over $1.5 billion is such that because of you Rotarians, because of you Rotractors, because of us, the world is about to be uh, declared polio free. And I was reading and following up Rotary News from the Secretary General for the General Secretary of Rotary International. He said, well, the current projections by WHO is that polio will be eliminated from the face of the world in the next five years. And all this credit is going to go to us Rotarians. Just the second time in the history of the world that a disease has been defaced from the face of the world. Because of you, why wouldn't you be so proud to say you are an impactful Rotarian? And in diseases, you've participated in a fight against malaria. We've fight, participated in a fight against HIV. We've participated in a lot of the, the, the medical camps. Uh, you, you, some of you may have heard of what is called the gift of life. Gift of life started, I, I saw Rotractor Papo uh, from Kampala. The gift of life started in Kampala with a small girl doing a heart operation. And this small girl was thrown into New York, had an open heart surgery, and this girl became the seed. And today we've got over 10,000 uh, heart, open heart surgeries that have been started by you Rotarians, by us Rotarians. That is the kind of impact that we do. And my friends, it's not only in disease uh, prevention and treatment, uh, see the participation in the current COVID. Uh, Kennedy introduced me as the chairman of the National COVID Task Force here in Kampala. But, but that's not about it. But what we did as Rotarians to make sure that we really circumvent the impact of, 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 of COVID in, in Africa, Rotary did so a lot, not only in Africa, but in the whole world. So friends, mother to child health, if you see what we are doing, and I know I've been to Nairobi, I've been to uh, a number of your towns in Kenya, and if you see what you are doing to to help to help children, to help mothers, if I tell you my own story on how I was born, it's quite threatening, threatening. Just my mother feeling like I should be born and just moving behind our grass such a house behind and just drops me down. But you know, you survive by the grace of the Lord. But can we continue living like that? 
Absolutely no, we cannot. The responsibility of an impactful Rotarian is to make sure that this stops with our generation. This stops with our generation and that should never be allowed that people are born, are born, are born that way. Look at basic education. And, and I think when I talk about basic education, I am so passionate, my fellow Rotarians, so passionate about education because without education, I wouldn't even have the slightest opportunity to be speaking to you. Absolutely not. And probably that's when I can share my Rotary story here and I tell you why we must make sure that no child goes without school and the impact that you can have by actually get pulling out a child out in the villages of Kisumu, out in the villages of Mombasa, out in the villages of Nakuru and pulling them out and say in, in the slums of Kibera and tell them no, let's go out and get them to an education, at least have basic education. You know, when Kennedy was introducing me, he told you, oh, this man is a chancellor of a university and a major university in Uganda. The Pope Francis appointed me as, 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 as his knight under normal circumstances. One would call me a sir. I, I, I chair the, probably one of the biggest boards uh, in, in, in my country, the Uganda National Oil Company, uh, I, I, a few things. But one would think probably this man uh, was born on a silver plate. No, absolutely no. I tell you when I was born, when a family of just four, three girls and three boys, or rather three girls and one boy, I was the last one. And my father and my mother could not read and write. They were illiterate, 100% illiterate. My mother could not even attempt to write her name. And my father worked in a tea plantation, like if any of you has been to Kericho, Kericho tea plantations, carrying the, the basket on, on his back, back and, and plucking tea. And my mother was a house girl, a house girl and a house helper with church missionaries uh, in Uganda. And, you know, when I was about four years of age, and my sisters were growing, my, my father said, no, we've got to get these people to have an education. He moved to Kampala in 1966. Certainly none of you was born. None of you was born in 1966. And when he got there, that was the start of confusion in Uganda when the military intervened in the politics of the country. And I'll tell you, do whatever it takes to make sure that you maintain peace in your lovely country, Kenya. Because when my father got a job in Kampala on a construction site, just imagine living, being a tea placker, then you go and get a job on, on a construction site as a porter. And within months, there, there was that confusion and was caught up. We, we believe that he, he was shot and he died in the process. Can you imagine? We never saw, I was only four or four and a half years of age. Uh, my sisters were pulled out of school. My mother left the job that she was doing as a, as a house, cook, a house girl to a church missionaries. We started living that kind of life. I started my early life by working at age of five, age of six, cooking cassava, roasting uh, maize and setting it on the street. One of my little daughters went to school in St. Andrew's Turi and I could drive and I could drive from Nairobi to Nakuru and I would stop my family would say, oh, dad, you can't do that. I'll tell them, no, 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 leave me, leave me. This is what I grew in. And I would buy some, some maize, roasted maize on the street and I knew it. I did that for a living and to be able to go to school. But my life changed because of an impactful Rotarian who picked me, who, who picked me, who picked me and I said, you know, Emmanuel, uh, you, you, you have no father, you, you have nothing. Uh, let me try to, to, to pay your school fees. A, a Rotarian, a Rotarian picked me from nothing, from the dustbins and said, go 
and try to have an education. Meanwhile, my sisters all died one by one. My first sister got pregnant at age 15. And as she, she carried the, the, the pregnancy to term, and as the baby was coming out, she bled. She bled to death. And I think that was my first time to see a person dying. I was a little boy. She died. Then the, 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 other, the other two later on got HIV AIDS and also died of HIV AIDS. I stayed alone with a struggling mother. But because of the power of Rotary, I was able to get an education. I was able to go to one of the best uh, in, in Uganda and tell you what I was able to study up to what is called the Ivory Tower of Africa, uh, Makerere University. I got a degree because of the power of impactful Rotarians. This is what we do. But what happened? What happened? When I graduated, started working a bit, and I said that, you know, every generation creates its own revolution. And that our revolution and your revolution as a Rotary Club uh, of Jabari is, 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 is entrepreneurship. I decided to branch into entrepreneurship, started a business. Today, the business that I started manufactures medicines for HIV, AIDS, and malaria for the entire continent. Kenya, your lovely country, is one of my markets. I have got over 2 million people in Africa who would be dead if it was not the medicine that I manufacture. In Uganda, we've helped to reduce the impact of malaria from over 400 people dying every day to less than 50, and my dream is to get it to zero. Why? Simply because of the benevolence, because of the kindness of those Rotarians who touched me. So it is our responsibility, your responsibility as you join Rotary as young people to see that my dear friends go out and touch a life because the impact that you make is so big. The impact is so big that you create so many juniors you create so many Emmanuels. You create so many Governor Azeba. Very nice. I saw you joining Governor. You know, that is the inspiration that she can leave whatever she's doing and say, let me listen to these young people. Let me listen to, to, to these young people of the Rotary Club of Jabali. So that is the impact of education. And that's how it has really impacted my own life. What did I do in memory of my sister who died, who, who died when she was giving her, 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 her baby at age 15? Today, I led the building of a Rotary blood bank in Kampala in the second biggest blood bank uh, in the country. And it has reduced the number of people who would be dying because of lack of blood transfusion from 25% to less than 10%. And my wish, my wish, and in her memory, that before I leave this world, no one in Uganda should die because of lack of blood transfusion or components of blood. That, that, that is the power of being an impactful Rotarian. And that Rotarian, unfortunately, he's also since passed on, who touched me is my hero. Is my hero who makes me wake up, you wake out every morning, who makes me give to the foundation. Probably if all goes well this year, my, my foundation giving could reach $500,000. But it's not about giving $500,000 to the foundation, half a million dollars, no, or a million dollars. I'll continue giving, I continue giving until I cannot give any more because I am paying backwards and I'm paying forward in honor of these Rotarians who touched me. But it's not only in education. Look at water. One of the businesses that I do, but my, my wife does, is bottling water. But if you see a number, if you see Northeastern Kenya, the kind of water shortage that you have, if you see a number of places in East Africa, in Africa, without water, 
But Rotarians are looking for partnerships in Uganda alone. We've just signed a partnership aid for a $5 million water grant that Rotarians are implementing to provide water. That is the impact. That is the impact of what we do. And when you see someone drinking some clean water, you say, yes, that is the power. That is the power of Rotary. Look at peace, peace, the impact that Rotarians have had in peace. Incidentally, I chair the Rotary International Committee uh, on Peace Major Gifts Initiative. Uh, and I, I've, I, I am in charge of raising funds for the Rotary Peace Centers. You know, we've got seven Rotary Peace Centers uh, across the world in, in North America, the University of Duke at North Carolina, then you've got the University of Bradford in the UK, we've got the Christian University in Japan, we've got that university in, in Thailand, we've got the University of Uppsala in, in, in Sweden, we've got uh, the, the, the Queen's University, and the latest that has been added to Africa, which is a gift of Africa, is Makerere University. Seven peace centers training peace scholars to go up in Ethiopia and say, hey, brothers and sisters in Tigris, please, 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 please don't fight. We're human beings. We're only fighting for a small piece of the cake. We can all share this piece. When you're going to elections, you have these peace scholars come and they're trained in Kenya and say, hey, we are brothers. We are brothers. I don't mind whether cat is black or white so long as it catches the mice. We are brothers, don't fight. And this is what we're doing. This is the kind of people we're training to go out and make the world a better place to live in. And, and these peace centers are doing an amazing job. And incidentally, as you may all know, uh, President Jennifer Jones, the president of Rotary International, is visiting uh, Africa and, and uh, he, she will have a brief stopover in Kenya on her way to Uganda. Uh, and in Uganda, she will spend quite a couple of days really trying to see how we can use this model to go out and preach peace in the rest of the continent. We will be here and we, I'm using this opportunity to raise funds uh, to, to maintain these peace centers across the world in general, but Makerere University in particular. So I invite you, I invite you to join this peace concept, which will be in Kampala uh, on the 2nd uh, of, uh, of, of uh, September. Uh, it will be a virtual concert. Of course, those who will be in Kampala will, uh, I know my sister Jimmy, I will be here and probably uh, Governor Zeb, uh, I believe you'll, you'll, you'll join us. But if you're not able to join us, please just join by contributing to the Rotary Foundation. The only thing you will have to pay is $100, not for the concert, but to the Rotary Foundation in favor of peace. And once you contribute to that, you'll know, like Mother Teresa said, if you cannot feed a hundred, feed one. You don't have to be an Emmanuel. You don't have to be a Jimmy. Jimmy, I know is my good major donor. Uh, you don't have to be her. If, if you can afford that a hundred, contribute a hundred. But if you can't contribute a hundred, contribute one dollar. It's what it takes to humanize a child. So friends, you see again, all that in the areas of focus, peace, economy, environment, planting trees, go out and plant trees. There are arid areas in, in, in Kenya, in your district 9212, there are arid areas. It is our responsibility as Rotarians to go out and plant trees and protect Mother Earth. Because if we don't protect Mother Earth, let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, fellow Rotarians, Rotaractors listening to me, the world will come to an end before our time for coming to an end. We have to protect. So that all those are things that are an impactful Rotarian should always, always look out to aspire to. And all this is in service. An impactful Rotarian should really enjoy fellowship. 
fellowship that I am in Kampala, you are in Nairobi, uh, governor is in Addis, but we are in fellowship together. That time is going to come that we don't even have to look at ourselves on the screen, but we should be able to hug ourselves, to touch each other and say yes, or oh, Azeb and Emmanuel, our brothers and sisters. We have got a lot that joins us than what divides us that if you are Kikuyu, you don't look at a Luo as an enemy. If you are Karenjini, you don't look at, at, at uh, Akamba as an enemy. We are brothers and we are united in fellowship and we should always be, be all, to, all, all together. An impactful Rotarian should respect what President Jennifer Jones calls DEI, day, diversity, equity and inclusion, it should be, it should be. Let me tell you, time has gone where men are superiors to women. In fact, for me, I strongly believe that the next, uh, the next wave of global development is going to be powered up by women. I interview many people uh, for jobs and I cannot believe that women are taking leadership in everything that we do. And the Rotary has just started with Jennifer Jones. You are going to see our organization is on fire. But, but that is uh, diversity, the inclusion, that you, you, you got to all be to, together, you, you, you know, uh, 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 and, and equity. We, we, we're equal. We must really make sure that we, we respect uh, all, all these. So fellow Rotarians, integrity. An impactful Rotarian should live the four-way test. When you started this fellowship, someone led us and said, uh, of, of the things that we think say or do, is it the truth? Can you live that? Is it the truth, my brother and sister? Is it the truth? If you know it is not the truth, why don't you just leave it? And, and just say, no, this is not the truth, then it's not. It's not something that is going to define me as a human being. Is it fair to all concerned? You know you're committing an offense and you know it is not fair to all. That is not an impactful Rotarian. An impactful Rotarian should say of the things I think say or do, it is the truth. It is fair to all, to, to, it is fair to all concerned. It will build goodwill and better friendship and it will be beneficial to all concerned. That is a creed. That is a creed, my brothers and sisters, a creed for you, a creed for me. We live by it. Just imagine every office in Nairobi had this four-way test and was hanged and we all lived by it. I think the world would be a better place to live in. The world would be a better place to live in, integrity, leadership, your club is comprised of young people. An impactful Rotarian should be a leader of leaders. We are leaders of leaders. And on, when you're chartered next Saturday or so, just know that that lapel you're going to take has got an honor that you'll meet, wherever you meet, someone will see you and see that lapel and say, oh, this is a leader. There are things that they will expect you to do that are beyond the ordinary. So that is an impactful Rotarian on how, uh, for me, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but you know, we're trained uh, under the thinking that uh, we should never blow our own trumpet under the British system, but the Americans uh, are quite very aggressive and they say, if you're, you're lucky to have a trumpet, blow it, blow it so that everyone should hear. So go out and blow your own trumpet. Go out and be the coaches. Go out and be the leaders that we expect you to be, that we want you to be. An impactful Rotarian should excel in the avenues of service, my dear friends. Club service. Do you attend? Do you attend your, your fellowships? If your club meets uh, twice a month, do you take that has a responsibility. During my youth time, time when I, I, I was about 30 something, 
and and when I joined the Rotary Club of Muyenga, uh, uh, Wednesday we meet every Wednesday, Wednesday evening. For me, Wednesday afternoon was like public holiday. No appointments, no what, because I know I am going to Rotary. It became part of my Wednesday DNAs. A community service. Uh, before I go to community service, do you pay your dues? You'll say, oh, it's expensive. I don't know what your dues are going to be, probably between $100 and $200. You say, oh, oh that is very expensive. The very person who says it's very expensive will see Emmanuel visiting Nairobi and say, Emmanuel, Governor, Emmanuel, PDG, Emmanuel, come and I buy you a beer. You see? If you just left that every day and every day and every day by saving the cost of one beer by saving the cost of one cup of tea will give you over three hundred dollars a year, and that can do a lot. That can pay your dues. That can pay uh, for, for a child to, to be immunized. That can sponsor a peace scholar at Makerere University, and we've got a number of Kenyans really studying here in in, 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 in this scheme. That that is what it takes. Community service, I don't want to repeat about community service because I talked about it when I'm talking about uh, service, service projects and what we do. International service, your commitment, your commitment to the Rotary Foundation, it is the engine that makes us run. And let me tell you, you to, to contribute to the Rotary Foundation, you do not have to be, you do not have to be a rich man or a rich woman. You just have to have a heart, a heart that I can do it. If you can be a major donor like Jimmy, be a poor house fellow. If you cannot be a poor house fellow by contributing a thousand dollars, contribute a hundred dollars. If you cannot contribute a hundred dollars, contribute one dollar. Like that famous person said, well, if you cannot fly, run. If you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. But whatever you do, make sure that you move forward. Make sure that you move forward. That is very, 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 very critical by your contribution. In vocational service, each one of you, average age of 30 has got a vocation. Utilize it. Utilize it to have impact to humanity. Utilize it. If you're a teacher, see, say, how can I use teaching to be of value? If you're a medical doctor, do the same. If you're a businessman like me, be the same. I utilize that value add. That's the proposition that you bring to Rotary. That is the proposition that we've brought to Rotary over the last 27 years I have been a Rotarian. That is the touching that I was touched they are for touch as well. As I said, paying backwards and paying forwards. So youth service, vijana poor, vijana poor. What can you do to promote? Africa has got over 65% of our population with uh, people who are uh, over, below 30 years of age. We cannot afford not even a single moment to ignore the youth. We cannot afford, we cannot afford to ignore the youth. They are the majority of African continent. We must look after them. We must bring the four-way test to them. We must get them to work. We must create jobs for them. We must inspire them to be those people that we want, true Rotarians. Friends, I can speak to you on and on and on. But let me tell you how I feel inspired being invited to your Rotary Club. Thank you. Go out and do good things that will make the world a better place to live in. Just imagine what Rotary can do. Imagine like President Jennifer Jones tells us, just imagine the impact that we can have if we all got together, 1.4 million people, and tried to make the world a better place to live in. 
We can choose to change the paradigm or we can choose to remain the same. Posterity will judge us. But let me tell you, once we do the right thing and we do it the way it should be done, let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, us Rotarians will have an impact that is unequaled on the face of the world and people who will follow us will say these young men from the Rotary Club of Jabali made the world a better place to live in and that will be our legacy. I join you again to invite you to join President Jennifer Jones in Kampala virtually uh, on the 2nd uh, of September to be Friday. Please join her, let's enjoy it together. But above all, my brothers and sisters from Kenya, Keep peace, keep peace. I have been a product of lack of peace. I lost my father because of lack of peace. I lost my sisters because of lack of peace. I lived alone. I've struggled to reach where I have reached. Peace, peace in your hearts, peace in your homes and peace in your communities. God bless you all. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much, PDG. Thank you. Thank you, SK. And uh, I believe this is the kind of uh, inspiration we need to start as we start a new Rotary year and as we start a new journey uh, as a new club. Thank you so much for your time. Over to you, President SK. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kaya. Thank you very, very much, PDG Katongole. That was more than inspirational. That was very real and real, honest, and spoke to the hearts and minds of everyone this evening. I am not sure I, I have the ability to, to come after such a talk. So as, as we process uh, and uh, circulate, we circulated the details of the uh, Africa Peace Concert on chat, uh, and the poster will be circulated in our groups, but I'll share it as we go along. Probably as, as we breathe in, uh, we could invite our district governor, DG Azeb Asrat, to say a word. Um, and also my brother from Uganda, uh, Diara Jacob, uh, you also say a word, Shoki, DG. Mm -hmm. What can you say more after listening to uh, PDJ Emanuel? Probably this is the third time I'm listening to you. Every time I listen to you, I'm just inspired. Especially, you know, when you are amongst the young, the vibrant, the energetic, who, has a, who have a long future ahead of them. It's very important to listen to our seniors senior Rotarians, not by age, but by the number of years that you have dedicated your life uh, in Rotary. And when you say that you are not impactful, who can we describe a person who has done a lot to his country, to the society, to people, to women, girls, name it, to change lives? You are very impactful. I wanted to listen to you in Ethiopia as well, just to inspire us a little bit. We are sleeping. So we wanted to wake up and I wanted you to come over for the pets training to say something, exactly what you said tonight. So I, I have no words to express our gratitude, especially when this Jabali Rotary Club is about to start its journey, its long journey to change the lives of people, to change the lives of uh, the young, the youth. Their involvement in Rotary is really the only way that we can aspire for our young generation to be. When I went to Houston, probably it's uh, the, the Rotarians who have come, but when I saw the age, the average age there, I was really worried. 
I'm worried for the US, I'm worried for Europe, but I'm not worried for Africa and Asia because the young are the energetic, the dynamic, the contributors nowadays standing together with the seniors. So every time I listen to you, my heart just beats. This is the kind of person, exemplary leader that we want to listen to. I thank you very, very much. And I'm glad, by the way, I'm sitting in Kenya. I'm on a mission. <laughs> so I'm in my hotel room. <laughs> so I am really, really glad, especially me being a full-time volunteer, as you know, for the past 10 years in Rotary. You know, I, this is what we want. This is the commitment, the engagement that we want to really transpire. Uh, when it comes to the use, 65%. Yes, that's something that we cannot really hide. So what do we do for them and how are we going to do it? The leaders are here. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, having me tonight. And I'm really glad that I sat here to listen to you, Emmanuel, my brother. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, Governor Zeb. Thank you. I'm sorry I could not make it to your pets, but I promise if all goes well, probably your district conference, let me have the dates. I'll be very happy to join you. To give you a bit of information on that, uh, pre-DCA, that is going to be 10th of May, 2023, we are going to have a business forum for the use, just to include the use entrepreneurs uh, to have a chance to mingle from the region, including you know, not only our district, but beyond our district, so that we can give a chance for the use to share and exchange ideas, and also maybe to forge collaborative agreement so that you know, they can work together. This is a time I think we have to think beyond our country, beyond one single country. We have to go a little bit bigger. So that will be the 10th of May and 11 to 14 is the DCA. Already 200 people have, have signed and I, I will send all the details to you. Emmanuel, please be our speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my sister, the governor. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, DJ. It's great to see my CC as well, country chair, Jimmy. It's always great to see you. I'll see you in a bit, I think. Okay. Thank you very much, DJ. Azeb, um, I can see the comments flowing in the chat. Uh, quite, quite inspirational. But probably we we'll also have a word from my good brother from Uganda and a good friend of PDG Katangwale, uh, past DRR and now Rotarian, uh, Jacob Senda. Uncle Senda, over to you. Uh, th thank you very much, uh, my brother Sam and uh, uh, Rotarian Emmanuel. I want to tell you that your life story uh, rhymes well with the statement that we are not here to live forever but to build things that will. And I think that is the mission of all of us as Rotarians and as Rotaractors. Starting our journey is small, but creating so much impact with our lives. And uh, I would like to congratulate our Rotary Club of Jabali. I know that I have so many brothers in this club. Uh, Gaia here and Elvis and many of you are wonderful friends. And uh, I would like to wish you all the best. And one of those days uh, when I'm in Nairobi, I look forward to joining you for fellowship. Thank you very much. Thank you, PDR Jacob. He's now a member of the Rotary Club of Kampala, which is the oldest Rotary Club uh, in Uganda. And he's also a director of, of the Rotary Foundation in the club. Thank you, thank you, my brother, for joining us, uh, Rotarians. Uh, Rotaract as friends of Rotary. I think as, as a club we will adopt before induction, everyone will have to listen to this talk. It has been recorded, it is on Facebook and we'll shortly have it on YouTube. 
But thank you, thank you so very much, PDG Manuel, for spending the evening with us. Um, the one hour and a half is a gift that we shall treasure. And I am very sure from this group of um, young men and women, professionals, business leaders, we shall grow impactful Rotarians whose work and impact shall spread across the seven areas of focus, who shall leave the true mission of Rotary, who shall leave by the four weakest and the core values of Rotary International. I'm not sure we can say enough to thank you this evening. We look forward to uh, meeting in person uh, between our club being in Uganda, coming to Kenya, in Ethiopia. I think we look forward to a lot more interactions uh, with yourself, uh, learning a lot more of your business side and, and uh, how to grow businesses. Um, your profile is a lot that I think any one of us will aspire to uh, when we grow up or as we develop and grow our, our profession and businesses. So on behalf of Rotary Jabali, I thank you very, very much for spending your evening with us. And we look forward to interacting more and more and hosting you at our club and probably also uh, being hosted in Uganda sometime. Asante Sana, I could, could say a few closing remarks and then we'll have the essay session. DJ Manuel, we could give us a few closing remarts and then we could move on to the well, session. Uh, thank you. Again, thank you. It's been a great delight to see uh, my sister, District Governor Zeb. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for the, inspiring the young generation. Uh, the, the little that we can do to support your own efforts, please, you can rely on us. Uh, thank you, country chair, uh, Jimia, and uh, uh, for you, uh, Governor, for asking uh, my friend, Jimia is a wonderful leader, and President Samuel, uh, and the rest, Jacob from Kampala, the rest of you, uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot thank you enough. I don't take it for granted. Uh, it, it's in absolute humbleness that uh, we bore our heads to say thank you for the opportunity to speak to you. I hope we shall have more opportunities to speak to you. Uh, let's do those things that we should be doing as Rotarians let's create impact because that is going to be our legacy. Thank you again. God bless you. Thank you, PDG, so very much. Okay, we are at the top of the hour. Uh, it's always so hard to end some, some fellowships like this. Uh, I'm sure many of you will listen to this many, many times. So our, our PR team will upload this on YouTube and you can replay it as you go to work, as you go back home. Um, if you feel like you're losing your rotary inspiration, this, this, is, this is the fellowship to listen to again. So this moment, I will welcome our Sergeant Atams. Uh, but basically, I think today we, we have no fines we cannot find people in such an inspirational evening. So you'll accept happy dollars. If you have anything to share, um, uh, express our gratitude to a speaker. Um, this is the moment. Uh, let me put up the slides so that we know what to do. But before that, I could probably share that. As mentioned, this, is, this Saturday is our chat and dinner. Uh, Rotary Jabali brings together 43 um, young men and women who are ready to join Rotary and serve and be of impact to our communities. We received our charter last week, but one, 11th of July. Uh, we officially received our charter certificate and it shall be signed by our DG and we'll have the charter party this Saturday 
30th of July, evening from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. and a party till morning. Um, it shall be at 67 airport total along Mombasa Road. And then charges are 3,000 for Rotarians and, and guests and 2,000 for Rotaractors. Today is the last day for ticket sales. We have almost sold out and we are closing ticket sales tonight. Uh, has been a good ride and we have a lot of uh, good friends to celebrate with us that evening. So if you are yet to take your ticket, please do so in the next three hours uh, before our treasury team closes off. And we look forward to hosting each one and uh, everyone, every one of us in this call, all of our friends, all of our members this Saturday. Everything is ready. All we are waiting is for your presence. Um, our PR team of Terry will share the details on chat. Uh, in, in case you have not yet booked your ticket uh, for the charter. Um, yep, and Pray Sam Tia Mule could take us through the essay session. And as a presidential declaration today, there's no fines, just happy dollars. Over to you, Mutia. Thank you. Thank you, President uh, SK. Uh, thank you, Madam Azeb, uh, our district governor, and also PDG uh, Emmanuel for the wonderful talk. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the essay session. Um, so, I'm sure you've uh, had a very good day and uh, also a very impactful session uh, with our speaker today. Um, we can all send our appies uh, to our treasurer, the Rotarian Priest Cup. So if you like to give your api dollar, you can just unmute yourself, um, then uh, say how much you are contributing and the reason as to why you are happy. Good evening. Good night. Hi, Motie. Hi, good evening. Good evening, uh, fellow Rotarians. My name is Gracie Rot Rotarian of Javali. I'm going to give two happy dollars for the great talk that we've had today from PDG Manuel. And also seeing Jimia. Jimia is uh, one of my sister's best friend, Jane Beria. So I'm happy to see her. So I'm giving a happy dollar for her. And I hope to see her at the charter party. Thank you, thank you, Gracie. Uh, who is going next? Uh, I'd like to give uh, 10 happy dollars. Uh, for me, I think it's just a first congratulations once again on your charter. I know it's been a long journey, but we are, we're finally here. And also to all the Rotarians uh, joining the club, I'm looking forward to working with you uh, from the country office. Uh, to our speaker today, uh, PDG Emmanuel. It was a great, inspiring talk listening to you. And uh, we all got inspiration from uh, sharing your journey. And I think uh, we actually look forward to hosting you in our district uh, uh, once again, because I know I was a Rotaractor actually when you were, uh, when the district was being split and uh, you were a governor in the district. Um, I think it was when the, this was being split now for you to go to Uganda and we remain as Kenya. So we look forward to hosting you uh, once again. And also very happy to see our DG Azeb uh, on the call. Yes, uh, I will be looking for you no, very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, country chair, um, Rotary and Jimia. Um, can see Victoria Guy on the chat, two happy dollars. Uh, thank you, Rotary and Victoria. Um, Anyone else? Hi, Mati. Can... Hello, good evening. Good evening. I'd like to give five happies. Uh, one for the presentation tonight. I think this is a, a recording that we'll always go back to uh, for inspiration. And also for all uh, district leaders will join us tonight. Thank you for gracing us with your presence in this meeting. Thank you, Rotarian Priska. Um, Eva, Eva Kaburu, you can go next. Good evening, everyone. 
Um, I have two happy dollars. One is for our guest. That was a very inspirational talk. I'll definitely be going back to listen to it and share with a couple of friends. And my other happy is I kept getting excited every time we were referring to us as fellow Rotarians. You know, it will get some time. <laughs> it will get, you know, it takes some time to get used to this. Uh, but I kept on getting excited. I'm like, oh, you're referring to me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited about that. Thank you, Rotarian uh, Eva. Uh, thank you, Rotarian uh, Kennedy Mako. I can see three happy dollars from you. Uh, thank you, District Governor Dijazeb. Uh, 20 apiece from you. Uh, we're also looking forward to hosting you during our charter party on, uh, on Saturday. Um, anyone else? I can see Rotarian Ben Kimani, you can go next. Sorry. Uh, two happies for me. Uh, one is for the wonderful talk. Uh, the second one is uh, to grace everyone for the our charter party. Um, do not be worried. Every planning has been done to the detail. And uh, we're sure about the district and fellow Rotarians, guests and Rotaractors that uh, you'll have a wonderful event. Thank you. Thank you, Rotarian Ben, and also our charter party chair. You um, can see from the chat, um, Edith, five apples from you. Thank you so much. Uh, Maggie, uh, one happy dollar. Thank you very much. Um, John Waimiri, two happy dollars from you for the inspiring talk. Thank you very much. Uh, Rotarian Jacinda, five apples from you. Thank you so much. Um, anyone else? Um, going thrice, uh, going twice. Uh, Antoine, uh, three apples from you for, for the fellowship and the talk. Second, for the district leadership and for the charter coming this weekend and the new Rotarians in the house. Thank you so much, Rotarian Antoine. Um, then finally, to just crown it all, I would like to give as well uh, 10 apples from me. I uh, think for the wonderful talk that we've heard from um, uh, PDG Emmanuel, as our president has said, this will be a really talk which will keep going back to uh, every time that we need to re-energize ourselves. Uh, so thank you so much, everyone. And uh, maybe the final one, Rotarian Mary uh, Gakenyi, uh, two apiece from you, one for the charter party and second for the fellowship. All right. So, Thank you all uh, for taking your time to give to the club. As always, uh, our SA money goes into running our project and also running the club affairs. Uh, thank you so much. Back to you, President SK. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, our SA uh, for tonight. Mutia Mule. Mutia is one of our I think Muti has never missed a meeting since we started. Uh, since we started these meetings as Rotary Jabani, Muti will look for, for an award for you very, very soon. Uh, please find the person who has just joined. He's the only person to be found tonight. His name is Emmanuel Terrell. He's joined very early for our charter party uh, on Saturday. Terrell, a fine for, for you. Uh, and as uh, PDG Manuel mentioned, Africa is very lucky to host the latest Peace Center, Makerere University. And last year they took the first cohort of peace ambassadors uh, and peace fellows to be trained on matters of peace. Um, and that, and they have been taking, I think, the second and third cohorts are, are currently in progress. And the main fundraising event for Makere Peace Center is the Africa Peace Concert and Dinner to be held on Friday the 2nd of September. That's two months from now, just about five weeks in Uganda and also virtual. Last year, I did attend virtual, the virtual experience 
and it was exceptional beef beyond imagination. Some of the things you think can't be done in Africa are actually very, very possible right here at home. Uh, we'll definitely have representatives from our club for the dinner and looking forward to this event. Uh, we've circulated the details and we'll circulate a lot more about the Africa Peace Concert. Uh, and also the district conference and assembly that uh, DG Azeb has mentioned in Addis next year in May will give uh, more details and definitely that will be our first this year's Rotary Jabali. So we have to take all our energy and make sure that Rotary Jabali is felt at district level and we make our grand entry in Ethiopia. Uh, and Antoine will be coordinating uh, that for us. So thank you very, very much for joining us this evening. It was a pleasure having everyone of you uh, as I mentioned, this was uh, a special meeting since we meet once every two weeks and we had to bring this as the special fellowship right before our charter. And definitely this is a recording that we'll pray very many times and ensuring all our inducted, all our members, starting with our charter members, uh, this is a recording we'll have to replay between now and Saturday just to ensure that we have the right energy as we get into Rotary. So thank you very much. See you all on uh, Saturday as from 5 p.m. Uh, all the way till Sunday morning. I think we are packed. We are selling out this evening. Shall definitely, Saturday shall be a great night. Um, so in recognition of all the Rotary clubs, let's Give a toast. Uh, if you have a drink, your favorite midweek drink, I'm not sure which that is. I saw PDG Emmanuel taking some water so you could uh, have a drink or right, right hand across your chest. And in cognition of all the Rotary clubs present, I give you Rotary International. Rotary International. Rotary International. Rotary the world over. The world over. The world over. The world over. Thank you very much. Have yourselves Thank you. a Thank fantastic you so rest of the week. Uh, see you on Saturday. If you are sending apologies, we accept apologies in monetary terms. Uh, please send your apologies as well. Uh, but hopefully all of us will be in on Saturday. Uh, and looking forward to meet every one of us. Enjoy the rest of your week. Santi Sana. Thank you very much. Asante Jambo Jambo. Thank you, everybody. Nice evening.